He is not inviting us so that he would take all our pains away. Rather, he is only asking us to make him as our partner in facing the sufferings of our lives. Dear brothers and sisters, human life is not always a bed of roses. Sometimes we are faced with certain difficulties that we find ourselves so helpless. I might think that these things happen only to me or to my family. I might even say, why me? St. Augustine says, God has one son on earth without sin, but never one without suffering. Suffering is part of everyone's life. Even the Son of God had to undergo suffering. When someone suffers physically, someone else's suffering is very spiritual or emotional or relational and so on. Faced with suffering, Prophet Jeremiah says, Cursed the day that I was born. Don't bless the day my mother had me. Curse the man who told my father the news that I was born. Something similar Job says, Cursed be the day I was born. I wish the day I was born would be lost forever. I wish the night they said it's a boy had never happened. Perhaps we also must have said similar things in our lives when we too were faced with difficulties. We even might have tried all the means possible to get rid of our sufferings and pains. But the gospel today gives us another solution. We hear today the most consoling words of Jesus telling us, Come to me, all you who labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. In fact, he is not inviting us so that he would take all our pains away. Rather, he is only asking us to make him as our partner in facing the sufferings of our lives. Who is our yoke mate when it comes to handling our pains and sufferings? Is it money? drinks, drugs, parties, friends, work or any other solution that this world could offer. Jesus invites us to make him as our yoke mate. When he is at our side, we get better strength to handle our pains and sufferings. When he is our partner, we don't complain, we don't argue, we don't try to escape. Rather, we would tell like him, not my will, your will be done.